Hello, pool players, and welcome to Bar Guy Billiards. Oh, you just watched me two, shoot two shots, a straight-in shot and an extreme cut shot. And virtually every other type of shot you shoot in pocket billiards is going to fall somewhere in between these two extremes. Now, a question inexperienced players or beginner players always ask is, how do I aim or how do I determine where to hit the object ball? That's not the question. The question is, what part of the cue ball do I need to hit the object ball in order for the object ball to go in the pocket that I'm aiming for? That is the question. And over the course of the next few minutes, I'm gonna take a lot of the mystery out of aiming for you because it's really very simple once you understand the simple concepts. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have sat down and watched how to aim videos on YouTube. And I've watched some of them also. I know how to aim. I've been playing for a long time. I pretty much aim on instinct alone. But if you're an inexperienced player, you're not aiming on instinct. You're still trying to learn how to aim. And if you sat down and watched some of those videos, your head is swimming after the, some of those videos. And you probably want to put your cue stick away and take up golf or something. Because I've watched them. And to me, they're really confusing. And aiming doesn't have to be confusing. <clears throat> so over the course of the next few minutes, I'm going to take the mystery out of it. So here in this example, the ball set up on the table, it's a straight end shot. <clears throat> now the contact point on the object ball is dead center of the object ball pointed towards the corner pocket. Now the question is, what happens if we're no longer straight in? Then where do I hit the object ball? Well, the answer is exactly the same. The contact point on the object ball will always be the exact center of the object ball pointed on an imaginary line towards the center pocket. Uh, well, gee, bar guy, how can that possibly be? Well, let's look at a couple of examples. Here's example number one, a straight in shot. You can see on the nine ball, the black dot, that's the contact point on the object ball. And you can see the arrow or what might be the imaginary line pointed towards the corner pocket. Well, gee, bar guy, how can that be the same for a, a shot like this? where we're no longer straight in. Well, let's take a look at that. In this example, you can see, looking at the nine ball, the contact point on the nine ball is exactly the same as it was for the straight in shot, meaning the contact point, again, is exactly on the center of the object ball on an imaginary line pointed towards the corner pocket. And again, it doesn't matter what the shot is. That's always going to be true. The contact point will be directly in the center of the object ball pointed on an imaginary line towards the pocket you're aiming for. That's the constant in aiming. That does not change. What does change is the contact point on the horizontal axis of the cue ball, and you can see in this picture I've just thrown up. You have the center, and then you have the, the edges going right and left. This is what changes when you're aiming a shot. The contact point on the cue ball changes. The contact point on the object ball remains exactly the same. Okay, pool players, so you can see that the concept of aiming is really very simple. It's really not that difficult. Now, the question is, if you're a beginning or inexperienced player, how do you put that into practice? You know the contact point on the object ball is always going to be directly dead center on the object ball pointed towards the center of the pocket that you're aiming for. Again, that's a constant. It doesn't matter 
where the shot is on the table or what the angle is. The contact point on the object ball is always going to be the same. So how do you put that into practice? Now, there's a good little exercise you can do. I've set this up here. It's really straightforward and it's pretty simple. Start out with a straight in shot and then start working, start working the cue ball over to your right and, and work the cue ball over to your left. Now, when you aim these shots, you'll try to visualize the contact point on the horizontal axis of the cue ball that needs to hit the constant, never changing contact point on the object ball. And the only way you can develop those skills is by practice. So again, start straight in, shoot, and start walking the cue ball over. And you practice this enough and pretty soon it'll become second nature. And then you'll go from learning how to aim to aiming by instinct. Now you can practice this on the corner pockets and practice this on the side pockets. Now, on occasion, myself, I, like I said, I pretty much shoot on instinct all the time, but sometimes I'll run into, I'll have a shot, a longer shot, a, a more difficult shot than what I have here. And I'll actually stand back and take a look to make sure I have the line <clears throat> correct on the object ball. And I've lined up my cue ball to shoot that shot like you see this in this example here. So pool players, as you can see, aiming is really not that difficult. It's really pretty easy. The concept is easy. Uh, the, the challenge for the inexperienced player is putting that into practice and that takes practice. I hope you enjoyed this video, pool players. You practice this and learn this, Aiming is going to become second nature to you. This should help you out a lot. And as always, thank you for visiting Bar Guy Billiards, and we'll see you at the table next time.